What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Journey with G-Poppy. Um, I'm here uh, trying to do a special project for uh, some folks. Um, they, have a, they have a dual mailbox post that is in disrepair, if you can see. If you can see how it's, it's, it's not very stable. Uh, so my goal today is to, um, to take this, uh, take the mailboxes off, take the post out, uh, drill, dig a new hole and then, uh, plant a post and repair the, uh, the wood structure where the, the, uh, mailboxes will be, uh, attached to. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to set you down and try to get the camera up to where you can watch me as I work on this, this little project. Um, so hopefully that'll go well. We'll see how that goes. I have, um, I don't have a, uh, person, someone to run the camera for me today. So I'm just going to do my best to set it up for you guys. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think you can see that pretty well. So, anyway, so what I've got here is a DeWalt uh, cordless drill with a um, with a lithium ion battery, 20 volt. They're, they're pretty good product made by DeWalt. Um, so, whenever you, uh, some of the screws that are produced today are not very good. So you really have to be careful not to strip them out because I think a lot of the metal that was, uh, sent over to China, to be honest, um, the scrap metal, when the scrap metal prices were very high, I think the Chinese um, manufacturers melted all the steel and aluminum and iron and cast iron and cast aluminum and melted it all down and then made screws out of it because uh, the screws today aren't near as good to quality as they were when the Pittsburgh uh, steel manufacturers were in business. Um, uh, so... I guess that's what we get, you know. Let me see and see how that screw's stripping out on me. So, um, it's not going to come out at all. So that one's going to be difficult, I can see. Um, anyway, we'll get it off though. Um, all right, let me take my sunglasses off so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay. There it goes. It was a crooked. Couldn't see it with my sunglasses on. Not a big deal. Um, let's see how well. Ooh, there's a bee's nest under there. So it's a good, good idea not to do this during the summer. <laughs> Otherwise, I might have had a big surprise. Um, so that's good. Uh, let's see if I can get to get to the other side. I'm not sure if I can or not. I don't know what's holding. I don't see a screw on the other side. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm not seeing one. Ah, oh, there might be one right there. Okay, so they made this pretty difficult to uh, get to <laughs> when they put this on. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can. Hmm. I'm going to have to take my sunglasses off again. I can't see the top. Okay. So there is a Phillips screw underneath. Uh, I wonder if there's any any better shot of getting at the screw the mailbox from the other side. Uh oh, looks like they put a nail they put a nail on the other side of the mailbox to make it even more difficult. And I'll have to get a hammer to to get that off. Uh, anyway, this is the kind of thing. Sometimes you run into interesting things when you're trying to uh, do some do repairs, especially. If you're coming behind someone else that did a repair and you're not sure how they did it because uh, there are Phillips screws there that I cannot get to uh, which is not good not good not good all right let me see let's see what I can do I might be able to force that because it's a plastic mailbox it's kind of interesting when there's two mailboxes there's not much room to work with <clears throat> Let's see if we can if we can convince this 
There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. Well, at least we got the, the uh, wooden part off. So we can at least take it down off of the, off of the uh, post and try to get to it a little better. Let's see, do I need to readjust my camera? Maybe I do. All right. Uh, sorry about that. Let me try to readjust this a little bit. Okay. Hopefully you can see me now. All right. Yeah, it's hard to see out in the sun like this. Oh, no. I want my... Oh boy, okay. Look, my lens for my sunglasses popped out. That's great. That's just great. All right, well, that'll be another project I'll have to do, I guess, to fix that. Well, I did pop it back in. All right. So let's see. Let's let's try to re reconfigure things a bit. <sighs> see if I can see what we're doing here. All right, so, wow, so hard to see with the sun, sorry about that, I guess, all right, okay, so you can't see the names on the mailbox, that's good, uh, all right, let's try this again, let's see what we can do, now that we got it down, when we can look at it, uh, I don't want to have to buy a new mailbox, I know that, I wouldn't have to buy it because I'm not the homeowner, but I don't want them to have to buy a new mailbox. How about that? All right. And one of the homeowners is, is my daughter, so um, if she has to buy a new mailbox, then that's going to be that's gonna be on her, not on me. Wow. Man, that's tough. All right, let me go get my hammer. So I, need to, I need to pry the one side off. I can get a screw off of this one. All right, so I managed to get the screw off of that. If you can hang tight here. Sorry guys, I was not expecting to, uh, sorry about that, I was not expecting to have to um, use a, get my hammer out of my truck, because uh, I didn't know, they had part of the mailbox, they had it, uh, let's see if I can get it, let's see if I can get it pointed down in the right angle here, all right, need to get a little more I think. Okay. Oh. Ah, shoot. Well, anyway, sorry about that, guys. See, this is where a camera person would come in handy. All right, sorry about that. Didn't mean to scare you. Uh, didn't scare you as much as it did me. I can promise you that. Uh, <clears throat> all right, let's try to get a good angle on this crazy thing. All right. Can you see? All right, you can see it right there. I'm sorry, the sun's blinding me, so I can't see very well. All right, so there's a there's a nail in this uh, in this mailbox, and naturally I didn't bring my my flat bar with me to pull it out. Uh, you know, yeah. hmm. I've got I do have a chisel. Hang on, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I had to go get something out of my truck. Oh, it's this thing. These people use the nail, and my daughter 
couldn't do this, I know. Because if she would have done it, I would have been the one doing it. And it wouldn't have been done this way. But. It would not have been done that way. Okay, now I can get to the nail head. Alright, there we go. Now, now we got it loose. Okay. Alright. I don't want to go on my chisel. Alright, now, see the problem is... In between, in between the mailboxes, I cannot get to in between, right? That's the problem. And naturally, they screwed the boards to these the screw to put the the uh, mailboxes. Well, actually, that's a nail on that one. Oh, there's a nail on that. I might be able to pop that one off. If I can get one of them off, that'll be very helpful. So. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that popped off. Okay, all right, I got one mailbox off. And it's got, as you can see, it's got bees nest, a wasp nest. See that? A wasp nest underneath. There's one there, one there. So somebody said if you put dryer sheets in your mailbox, if you have problems with bees building nests, if you put dryer sheets in your mailbox, supposedly it will keep the bees out. I don't know how true that is, but... I guess it's worth a shot. <clears throat> All right. So, now if I can just get into, if I can just get into that screw. I don't think I can. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now, see that board? That's the platform that it was resting on. I think I'm just going to rebuild the platform. Uh, make it all new. And do it right. Um, anyway, so you can see, you can see the, uh, if you can see the post, you can see how loose it is. It's not very, very sturdy at all. I can probably, I could probably take it out by hand. So if I, there it goes right there. All right. Now let's see. Sorry guys. I'm wearing you out. <clears throat> I'm wearing myself out. All right. So let's uh let's see if we can get this post out without too much trouble. Huh? No guarantees. I can't see the camera because the sun's blind me. Okay, I think we're good. Alright. Uh, now let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get this post out of the ground. <clears throat> Broke it. Uh, I'll get it out of there one way or another, I promise you. Uh, all right, there we go. All right, there it is. See how, how the post, the bottom of the post is so rotted. So that's part of the reason that it, that it failed. Anyway, so that's part one. <laughs> uh, sorry for the the rough video job, but uh, it's kind of tough to to do all that by myself. Um, so maybe maybe one day, if you watch enough of my videos, maybe I can hire a camera person uh, in the future. So uh, anyway, let me. Let me end this video here and then I'll start another video digging the hole for the post and I'll show you how how to dig a hole in case you didn't know. All right. With a, a shovel and a digging bar. All right, guys. Talk to you in a bit.